We've all heard it. You can't have carbs if you want to lose weight. No donuts for you. Better stay away from dessert. Gonna have to starve yourself. <laughs> How about protein apple fritters? High in protein, easy to make, and of course, I'm meal prepping it. So let's get started. kick things off for the apple fritters, get the obvious ingredient together. Four apples. I'm using Gala, it's my favorite, and I weighed it out to be about 515 grams. Now, unless you hate yourself, I would highly recommend getting an apple cutter for a few reasons. First and foremost, it makes your life so much easier. Second, they're insanely cheap. And three, you can get one in the description down below and it would help the channel out at no extra cost to you. Or if you want, pick one up at Walmart or Fred Meyer. But either way, Get your apples cut up into small, tiny pieces. However you get them there, that's up to you. Once you get them all cut up, we're going to get them transferred into a bowl so we can add the 10 grams or 2 tablespoons of ground cinnamon, 1 gram or a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and then 30 milliliters or 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Once all that's been added to the apples, take a spatula and stir it all up until it gets all the sugars and all the good stuff of that incorporated into the apple. Then turn one of your burners to a low heat. Then we're going to take those apples and put them in a small pan and level it out, then cover it with a lid. We're going to be baking these apples for about 15 minutes in this pan. This is mainly to get all the juices and the flavors of the apple sucked out of them and to get the apples soft. You don't want to crunch the apple in your apple fritter. While the apples are going, get the rest of the ingredients for your batter together. I will list all the ingredients down below in the description, but here are all the brands that I'm using just in case you want to use the same. Start with your pastry flour. I know one question I'll probably get asked is, do I have to use pastry flour or can I use any other kind of flour? Short answer, yes, you can use any kind of flour, but it won't be the same. I actually ran an experiment with three types of flours on the same dessert to see what the differences were and to see if you really needed pastry flour. I used all-purpose flour, bread flour, and pastry flour. I made all little small batches to where I could make one fritter of each, and visually, they all looked the same, except when you broke them open. When you broke them open, the all-purpose flour one was pretty much just kind of a cake. The middle one, the bread one, was kind of a bready, tougher, rougher texture, but it actually ended up being good because it was a chewy type pastry, which is kind of what apple fritters are. But out of all three of them, the pastry flour did have the softest inside, and when it comes to protein desserts, you really do want to have a good soft inside. So I tasted all three. I would say pastry flour is the best. Bread flour was the second best. And all-purpose flour, surprisingly, was actually the worst. But all three worked just as fine. If you only have all-purpose flour on hand, go ahead and use all-purpose flour. With your flour lesson for the day out of the way, add in the rest of your dry ingredients. Start with your protein powder. As always, make sure it's a whey casing, not just whey. Then your sweetener and then your baking powder. Then stir it all up with a whisk to make sure you get all the lumps out of it and that it's all mixed together. While you were messing around with your dry ingredients, your apples should be done at this point in time. So come back, stir them up, and give them a check. Easiest way to check them? Grab one, throw it in your mouth. If it's crunchy, it ain't done. If it's soft, it's done. It's as easy as that. At this point in time, go back to your bowl with the dry ingredients and use a spatula to create a well in the center of the bowl. Then at this point, we're going to add in all the rest of the ingredients. Start with your Greek yogurt in the bottom of that well. Then add in your applesauce on top of it. Then add in both your eggs, and then after that, add in all those cooked apples on top of it. Then use a spatula to mix up your entire batter. Now, this is one of those few times I will tell you, do not use a hand mixer. This is going to be an extremely thick batter. You'll notice there's really not much liquid in this ingredient list whatsoever. So if you use a hand mixer, it's going to get caught in the whisks of everything, and it's going to become a pain. So stick with the spatula and mix it as much as you possibly can. Don't forget to scrape the outsides of the bowl and the bottom of the bowl because a lot of that powder of flour and protein powder will get stuck to the bowl. But just keep working it with the spatula until it becomes the thick batter that you're looking for. Now we can move on to cooking these. Start by preheating your air fryer to 400 degrees and once that's finished, grab some parchment paper and line your air fryer with it. This meal prep lets me make six apple fritters. So I usually do them two at a shot and I just eyeball how much it would be for each apple fritter. If you wanna worry about measuring out the exact amount you need for each fritter, Go ahead and do that, but remember, calories and nutrition is a long-term average game. If you make six apple fritters and you eat six apple fritters, you're going to be getting the same nutrition either way. But however you want to do it, put two apple fritters in your air fryer and fry it at 400 degrees for five minutes for the first go-around. Once that five-minute period has passed, you could be smart and use tongs or a spatula to flip them over for the second cook-through, or be a caveman Neanderthal like me and burn yourself while you flip them with your hands. Either way, flip them over 
close the lid, and then cook it for two more minutes. Once the second cook through at two minutes is finished up, check the bottoms just to make sure that they're solid and firm. You don't want to overcook them because with any protein dessert, it can dry out quickly, but just make sure that it's solid. You don't want it to be gooey. As long as it's solid, go ahead and pull them out and put two more in the air fryer and cook those at 400 degrees for five minutes. In the meantime, set those two apple fritters on a cooling rack and then move on to the frosting. For the frosting, we're going to be taking Swerve Zero Calorie Confectioner Sugar and Almond Milk. We'll take one cup of the confectioner sugar, put that in a bowl, and then we're going to slowly, keyword, slowly add in almond milk. Literally start with the splash because it's really easy to add too much. Start with the splash of almond milk and then stir it up. If it's still powdery after stirring it up for a little bit, add another splash of almond milk. Do that slowly until you get to a thick frosting-like consistency that you see here. With the frosting out of the way, all you have to do is finish the other fritters, but just to show you what one minute difference can make, on the third and fourth fritter, I let them go for three minutes on the second cook through instead of two minutes, and this is what they look like, along with me burning the shit out of my hands again. But outside of that, finish up your fritters, set them on a cooling rack, and once they've cooled, all that's left to do is frost them. For the final tip on this recipe, as with any protein dessert, don't overcook it. Keep an eye on it, especially this one because we're cooking it hot and fast to get the outside done, but keep a good gooey inside. And one minute can make the difference between a good gooey fritter and a rubbery piece of, well, crap, basically. But if you get it in the right time, it's going to be good enough. You'll probably end up like me, a true former fat guy. I couldn't even wait to the macro breakdown to eat his fritter. It is that good, and yes, I am a true former fat guy. As far as the macro breakdown goes, this batch made six of them, and each fritter comes out to be 231 calories, 34.8 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat, and 21.4 grams of protein. So as with anything I make on this channel, high in protein, you can eat this thing all day long and hit your protein goals, you'll feel no guilt, and you get to please your inner sweet tooth and your inner former fat guy. That's what it's all about. Anyway, if you like this recipe, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more recipes coming out of me or general fitness advice, hit subscribe. If you have any other desserts you want to see made high protein, let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, I've got a fritter to finish. Thanks for watching.